welcome to setup day three. Let me just pop in my back room so I'm not quite so loud out into the world because my door is open. Um, today is setup day three. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kim. I am a second year, fourth grade teacher in West Michigan and I am on day three out of four <laughs> of my setup vlog series because we start school very, very soon. I got a ton done though. If you guys haven't watched the past two vlogs, please go watch those. I've gotten a ton done in my room. I'm feeling really good with where I'm at today. But today is kind of going to be like the finishing touches, hopefully um, on a lot of things so that tomorrow is a more chill day where I can get some stuff prepped for open house. So this morning I went to Target, TJ Maxx, or no, home goods and Walmart and picked up some things, some decor type items for the room. So I just brought those in. So I'll kind of show you guys. And then I brought my mirror from home and I have some other stuff down there. Clearly it is put very haphazardly in here because I just brought it in through the window. So this is what state my room is in currently. Lots of work to be done, but also lots of work that has already been done. So I'm feeling pretty good. today I have barely vlogged and I apologize it is just past six o'clock right now I have done a lot today I tried to film a couple clips like while I was doing things but most of today I had volunteers in the room and I just didn't really want to like pick up my vlog camera and vlog you know what I mean just because like I was like focused on what I was doing and also like directing people on what to do and so anyways that is why I didn't really vlog today but here I am now I am gonna show you around and show you what I got done so the big thing that we accomplished today, well, big things, my mom hung up the lights up there, which they look awesome, and then she also hung up the quote, this classroom is better because you are in it, and then I hung up that greenery, which this is two strands of greenery from Hobby Lobby, those are the ones on the side, and then one strand from the... Uh, Joanna Gaines line from Target which is in the middle and they only had one strand of that and that's like the eucalyptus looking one so I think it looks really cute though like it's not perfect but it'll do and then also I have just like a stem of eucalyptus on each side from Walmart and those were three dollars each so that's that um, over here I'm still trying to figure out what to put in this space I actually went out with my mother-in-law earlier and we bought this map However, I didn't really like how it looked in the space, so we're not gonna use that, we're gonna return that. Then I have these hoops, these were actually from my wedding. <laughs> and so we thought about maybe hanging that up there, and now I'm thinking maybe at least for the time being that will work, because I don't hate how that looks, I just like also don't love it, you know what I mean? I kinda want like a quote or something up here, like a big poster, or even like a tapestry or something, I don't really know, but I'm not sure that I can get that done in the next couple days so that might have to be like a temporary fix for now and then maybe I'll find something else later if you guys have any ideas on what I should put there definitely let me know because I just can't really figure out like what is gonna go there and we looked at like everything at Hobby Lobby and nothing was big enough that I liked the only thing that was big enough was that map because this space in between these two bookshelves is 60 inches so yeah Back here, you can't really see it, <laughs> but my mom worked on this project. This is a shower curtain. It's gonna look really cool when it's done, but can't really see it yet. <laughs> but it's a shower curtain, um, and then my mom did this little project. It is from somebody who I follow on Instagram called Building Book Love. She does little classroom transformations. Definitely go check her out. She's really, really neat. The stuff that she does is awesome. So I kind of copied her idea that she posted on her blog and then also on her Instagram. Um, one of my volunteers who is here, I had her working on cutting out some lamination and also like laminating different things. So I don't know where I put, 
oh there are the pages that she laminated so those need to be cut out at some point but that's not super high priority right now my mom is working on putting up the little sections for the team points because I do team points based on the team tables and then I started working on my schedule over here because my schedule is different this year I'm going to have to print some more of the time cards because the times are different we change lunch times and a bunch of other times too so that is why those are not done uh, over here nothing exciting looking pretty not so great but against the wall is more exciting I hung up my lunch choice board and then this is going to be a wow work board right there I do need to make a label for it still right up there but that will come in the hallway oh also I got this mat today I can't remember if I showed this let me show it out in the hallway that is from Target I think it's super cute and then out in the hallway this looks really cool my volunteer today hung this up that's just like electrical tape. Doesn't that look so neat? I love it. So yeah, that's what's going on in here. Lots of projects going on today. But I think it's looking really nice. I love how things are turning out. Um, also, I made this sign. I can't remember if I showed this yet. But I need to laminate this too. But it won't fit in like my personal laminator. So I'm going to have to go down and see if the school laminator is hooked up yet. I'm not really sure if it is or not. But... I will find out. So, uh, I'm losing steam a little bit, Mom. How are you doing, Mom? Good. Good? Are you losing Good. steam at all? Um, no, I'm too, not as bad as yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody's calling me. Hello, friends. So, it is officially past 9 p.m. <laughs> I am working on getting some labels and some cutting done over here and over there <laughs> lots of stuff going on over here mom is working on covering the door so she is measuring some paper over here this is that better than paper stuff this is the black one she went out and bought another roll from hobby lobby got there like right before they close because they close at eight on saturdays well i think they close at eight every night and then they're not open on sundays so she had to like hustle out to get there and back and now she's measuring so it can go over the door the door is so bad you guys i don't think i've shown you so I will show you guys, but it looks so bad. It's like, I don't know if it will really pick up on camera, but it's all like peely and nasty. And so it needs to be covered for sure. But lots of stuff is getting done. It's just kind of like one of those slowly but surely <laughs> type things. Uh, there is just a lot going on. I feel like I showed you guys this. Did I? I really don't remember. But we did this earlier. Um, this was inspired by Building Book Love. She has an Instagram page that I really like, and then also she has a blog, and she does like little room transformations, and she's done a couple where she's used this concept. It is a shower curtain, and then it's some wood glued to it, and uh, like nailed in or whatever, or like not really nailed in, what would you say? Like tacked in with like, um, like upholstery tacks, yeah. So I think this area is really cute though. I still kind of want to get like a rug or something soft because this carpet is like really, <laughs> we've learned the hard way, like rough or like hard. Like it's not very comfortable. Um, it looks nice, but it's just like very, very hard and it's like kind of scratchy. And so I kind of want to get like a little rug to put there, just like something comfier, even like a blanket or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Lots of little projects going on right now, so it just like doesn't feel like a lot's getting done just because they're like such small projects. But, I mean, that's kind of like what's gonna happen near the end, you know? <laughs> so, we're getting closer.
so it is very late right now I actually just took like a little very small like five minute power nap on my pillows back here it was very exciting and I realized I wanted to show you guys especially because I feel like this vlog is kind of short I just got a packet well not just obviously but I got a package like the other day and it is uh, Amazon goodies from my wish list so I wanted to show you guys what was inside I'm really really excited so I feel like I'm a little like crooked let me fix that a second <laughs> I can't tell if that's actually better or not but it might be so the first note says that it is from Abby and this is one of the science comic books which I love these you guys I just recently discovered these and I am obsessed I actually made a bin of them in my classroom library so I'll show you guys all of these ones I think if Maybe not all of them, but most of them are from First Book, which if you guys haven't heard me talk about First Book before, it is an awesome resource where you can get cheaper books if you are a teacher. So these are the ones that I have so far. You can just read the spines, I feel like, hopefully, if it's focused. So I have all of those ones, and then the one that Abby got me is the Flying Machines one. So super excited to add this to my collection. And then... I got a couple more of the science comic books. So these ones are from Marissa, and she said that she's in college studying elementary education, and she loves my videos, um, which is so, so sweet. So Marissa, thank you so much. She sent over, let's see, the wild weather one, which is really cool looking, and then also volcanoes which like look at that you guys these are the coolest books like I don't know how long these have been around but I really really enjoy these I think the kids are going to really like these my students last year loved nonfiction, and then they loved graphic novels so they would have been obsessed with those so super excited about those and then the other thing that Marissa sent over is something that I have been wanting for quite some time and hold on let me open it up so this is a little like pocket organizer thingy it looks like this and um, my idea for this is I'm hoping that headphones will fit inside of it and I don't know if that's the case now that I'm seeing it I was thinking it might be a little bit bigger so if not um, headphones I'm sure I can figure out a different use for this but super cool I love that it has the numbers on it because that'll just help stay organized and yeah awesome stuff so marissa thank you so much and abby thank you so much those things are seriously so appreciated and i can't wait to use those things in my classroom so you guys are super awesome today i got a lot done but i also <sighs> got a lot of exhaustion you know I am tired <laughs> you guys but at the same time like I'm still having fun I will say today was the day that I ended up doing like those small tasks that I didn't really want to do the stuff that I put off until today and uh, so today wasn't nearly as fun as the past two days because the past two days I've been doing like all the fun stuff so I did get a lot done but I feel like it was a lot more like tedious like small things that honestly like just don't have as big of like a payoff I feel like because it's not like some big grand thing that you can look at and be like oh my gosh I did that so kind of a bummer but got a lot done so that's good also I'm loving like all the greenery in the room and I don't know I just feel like it's looking so nice I'm so excited to get my students in here and yeah tomorrow my brothers are coming in they're gonna help me with some things in here and I need to start getting ready for open house because we have that on Monday but I'm really excited for it. So I will be vlogging tomorrow at least. I'm not sure. I don't think I will probably on Monday just because Monday is going to be like the day before the first day of school and I have meetings that day and I just don't think that that will work out. But I will vlog tomorrow at least. But tomorrow will be my last day of setup. It will be my day four. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how my room comes together and its last final touches and like once everything's cleaned up because right now I just have like stuff everywhere still. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to stay up to date on my videos and make sure that you see all of my setup vlogs so like the next one and then also my teacher vlogs once I start teaching again like super soon make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved and I will see you guys next time bye guys